Chris, um, summer, you know, just kind of workouts, things like that. What, what's your takeaways? What, what have they been like since you've been since you've been here? Um, everything been good so far. You know, just getting acclimated with the team and just getting used to the playbook and just catching on to everything. What's it, what's it been like with the playbook? Uh, the playbook? It's always you know freshman. It's always one of those things. You know, just what's it been like? On um, the playbook, pretty good, pretty easy. You know, just you just gotta pay attention. You just gotta listen. You just gotta study the playbook and um, everything should be good after that. So. Are you feeling like you're essentially fitting in, making play, doing some things? Um, I know, again, freshmen, when they arrive, they want to make sure... They you know, do everything you, you, right, yeah. yeah just, just have things go well for you. Are, are you seeing have some of those happen either on seven-on-seven -on -seven workouts, things like that so yeah, far? Definitely. You know, just... Yeah, I'm making plays, like, you know, just making plays and just trying to earn my stripes. So that's really what it's about. Just, you, know, you got to make plays so the coaches can be able to trust you to put you out on the field. You, know, you got to make sure you're doing your job. You talk about what you're bringing to the, obviously your speed, but the things you're able to bring to an offense, um, maybe versatility, do different things. I assume you're hoping to show that in fall camp. What are some keys in your mind that to, to show in fall camp, things you can do? Um, um, with just... Like I said, like make plays and just, you know, just helping the team out, you know, um, just getting us ready for the season, you know, just doing everything I can. Are you learning? It's going to be different when pads are on and things like that, but are you learning either with your moves or speed that it still translates? Are there things you need to do a little bit different to still get by some guy? Are there, are there things anyway, because the guys are better, essentially. Is there anything you've already noticed? Um, yeah, like it's way different from like high school, like, you know, in college, there's people that's fast as you, like everybody not on the same level, it's people that's that's actually good, like, you know, so you just got to be prepared, you know, you got to be, you know, you got to stay humble and just trust the process. So. Your speed, and, and I'm curious about this because some guys are fast on the track, and but to make sure it translates on the field, what has been the key for you over your career? Because you've obviously shown speed on the field as well. Are, are there things that you make sure that you do or that's so important that on the field when you have pads on and people chasing you? Um, just <laughs> not really. Just just use my speed. Like I said, like nothing really for me to do. You know, just outrun people. You've, you've probably always been the fastest or one of the fat on the team. With Tyler Harold, with his speed, have you I mean, been able to see it? You, is there any thoughts on how fast he is? I mean, I never, I didn't really get to reach my top speed here yet. Like you know, but me and Tyler Harold, we pushing each other in practice. You know, so that's my biggest competition. Like me and Tyler, we push each other. Like every every chance we get, like. From conditioning to like just everything. So, if you raced in a forty together, side by side, who, who do you think would win that? I, I know I got him. Like I'm gonna beat him. In the hundred? I'm gonna definitely beat him. Yeah, things like that. Uh, for the both of you guys on an offense together, uh, to be able to have that those attributes for an offense. I mean, how big is that to have guys like yourself on an offense? Yeah, we got like we got a lot of fat. Like yeah, like. Me, Ray, me, Ray, Ray, Robbie, um, Tyler Harrell, like a lot of people with speed. Like you don't really get too many teams that have that many fast guys like that can move the ball around. So you mentioned a lot of offensive guys. Are there guys on defense that you look at like those guys are fast? Like who do you think is the fastest guy on defense that you've seen? Um, fastest guy on defense, I'd probably say. Probably Robert Stafford. Probably. That's probably the fast. That's the fastest I've seen. So I don't know. Everybody else still. Yeah. Uh, last thing, just going into fall practices, going back to maybe keys for you to essentially get on the field and and to earn playing time. You've got other backs, uh, other guys on offense. Maybe some keys that you think or things that you feel like you've got to show the coaches. Just do my part. Just I'm, I, I just got to outwear everybody. You know, just work harder. Like. Ain't nothing gonna be given to you. You gotta, you know, you gotta show, you gotta show everybody what you, what you can do. You know? But nobody's gonna ever outwork me, like ever. So for me to do my, for me to get a starting job, I just have to keep working. You know, just make sure I'm studying the playbook, doing everything the right way. You know, so you can't really just stress about getting on the field. Like you know, you gotta, you gotta do the necessities to be able to play. You know, so I don't ever worry, have to worry about playing because I know what I'm capable of.